to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog Sports Page brought to you this morning by Kaufman and Lind Injury Attorneys. What do you say, Mike Bianchi? What do I say? I say uh, inexcusable for the Magic oh. to get blown out by the heat. Last oh, night. that hurt. The hated heat. All right. That. I don't care what the Magic have accomplished thus far this year. Palo's an all-star. We know that. They've got the Franz. We know that. They have a bright future. We know that. Still, you cannot lay a big fat egg like you did last night against the hated heat. 121 to 95. Are you kidding me, Lynch? I know. Are you kidding me? I know. I'm going to say this right now. In t- the Heat have won the season series now three to one. I-, I think the Magic have lost twelve straight down in Miami. All right, until they can get over the Heat hump, they're going nowhere in the NBA playoffs. Okay. Okay. Boom. All right. So the Franz last night, by the way, wow, not good. Seven of the 18 turnovers. He was one of seven from three-point range, five of 15 from the field. This comes off the 38-point performance against the pathetic Pistons the other night. You know what the Franz needs? He needs a pep talk from uh, Mrs. Cunningham. (laughs) Yeah, I think so. From Marion? (laughs) Yes. He does. Yes. yes. Certainly does. Hey, Bulldog, I I know you're not the biggest hockey guy in the world, but uh, there was a chance for a really cool record to have been tied last night. And the the Edmonton Oilers fell a game short of uh, hitting and tying the uh, all time uh, wins in a row record. They uh, fell in Vegas to the Golden Knights 3 1. They had won 16 games in a row after a slow start to the season and just been in fuego. As of late, one game away from tying the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins all-time record of 17 in a row. Didn't happen, though. No, no. It was not to be. It wasn't in the cards, man. Mm. Andy Reid at the Super Bowl. Of lightning yesterday. play tonight to, against the Rangers. Okay, hockey fans, I, I try. I, I try. There you go. The God, I try in vain. You want to go, go down the rest of the NHL no, schedule No, go, 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 go ahead, Bulldog. <laughs> go ahead. Andy Reid. Yeah. What about Andy Reid? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I want to talk about the Super Bowl instead of the NHL schedule. We try to cover uh, it all here. All right. The Super Bowl. Andy Reid asked yesterday about, you know, could this possibly be his swan song with the Kansas City Chiefs? He indicated, no, it's not. He said, listen, uh, my parents told me one time when it's time to go, you'll know. And right now ain't the time. So Andy Reid looks like he's going to continue coaching the Chiefs after this season. By the way, if you're the Philadelphia Eagles, do you feel like a bunch of fools for firing Andy Reid? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> who's who's going to go down as one of the great coaches of all time? I Andy never, Reed, yeah, I never understood. I never understood that in the first place. I mean, Andy Reid never won a Super Bowl in Philadelphia, but he had them knocking on the door just about every year. I think he went to five NFC Championship games uh, when he was with the Eagles. Um, went to uh, was it one or two Super Bowls? Didn't win, uh, obviously, but still, I mean. <laughs> Andy Reid is one of the great coaches wouldn't, of all time. Wouldn't just about any tortured franchise fan base yearn to have had that many opportunities? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, come on, serious. Yeah, although the Eagles did win the Super Bowl after Reid left yeah, with uh, Doug Peterson coaching. Man, big news in Major League Baseball. The Las Vegas mayor, Carolyn Goodman, all right, not exactly extending an olive branch to the Oakland Athletics who plan to build a $1.5 billion stadium in her city. In fact, Goodman said <laughs> that the team's stadium plan, quote, does not make sense and that the A's ownership should go back to the drawing board and pitch a new plan in wow. Oakland. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Sounds sounds like Vegas is having second thoughts about building this one point five billion dollar stadium, which the uh, city and county is on the hook for a lot of that. Seems like they're having second thoughts about building that stadium on the Las Vegas Strip. One thing she said: it's too crowded on the Strip to build this 
Stadium. So yeah, didn't uh, didn't Oakland come up with a last ditch uh, plan to present something? Uh, Oakland is still trying to figure out if they can uh, figure out a way to build a stadium on the river, which is where the owner of the A's wants it, Got right it. there on the on the waterfront. Hey, uh, Bulldog, major announcement yesterday that could change the landscape of a sports television love, going I forward. Love it. What do you I think? Love this. Yeah, ESPN, Fox, Warner Brothers, all the major uh, sports um, uh, uh, sports networks essentially are going to launch a sports streaming platform in the fall that will include just about every major sport. Um, NFL, obviously, college football, all four major professional sports leagues, including your NHL, Lynch. Yeah. It's essentially going to be a one-stop app to view most sporting events. Including and the Turner networks, which uh, have always been kind of left out in the cold when it comes to that. So that with which is big when it comes to uh you know March Madness. Now Bulldog, the big question is this A, uh what is the price point gonna be? B, what is the impact it's gonna have? Uh well, the price point according to C was it C N B C a pr- uh they talked to a bunch of industry sources. They said a price point would be 45 to $50 per month with introductory pricing lower to entice signups. This is so aimed, that, this is aimed at folks who are mainly, like yeah, mainly sports fans who don't want these hundreds of I, other channels yeah. that are just garbage. Lynch, I don't watch any of the shows. Right, I right. don't, I, I don't, I don't even watch Netflix. I watch sports. Yeah. All right. And if I can get like you know, the the networks like the network news and sports, that's me. I mean, I'll spend the fifty dollars a month for this. All right, easily. If you, if you all want more info on this, I did uh, attach the news story uh, in the video that goes along with it is on the uh, JR Facebook page and the Lynch and Taco blog. This is very interesting. If I'm a cable or satellite operator right now, I'm going. Uh oh. What uh, about you, Lynch? Is is this for you? Uh yeah, I would. I. <sighs> I got to consider the whole family, though. You're a one man operation. It's a little bit yeah. different. So I, I, I would, I'm going to have to see how this would work out uh, doing the math on this. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So anyway, so, interesting. All right. I mean, I already have some sports packages with my cable package, which ups my overall right. cable package. So yeah, this is, I'm all over this. All right. Mike the Bulldog, me, I can't, I'm sure you'll be talking more about that uh, on Open Mic over on AM 740 and FM 969 to game. This morning, we appreciate you taking the time to uh, accommodate us here on JRR during the sports page. It's brought to you by Kaufman and Lynn Injury Attorneys. Listen to Under Oath with Attorney Jeff Kaufman every Saturday morning, 7.30 on FM 96.9. The game catch extended versions of Under Oath by searching for Under Oath with Jeff Kaufman on your favorite streaming platform. Oh, oh. Taco on demand. Download the iHeartRadio app.